speed control with DC motor. One method of doing it is to use a digital to analog converter. Here's the converter here. It's changing the digital to analog signal. It is, of course, a summing amplifier. That's the least significant bit. Okay? Because there's a 5K there, less current will flow in from here. The inputs are generally from your microcontroller. There'll be 0 or 5 volts. Right, so you put 5 volts in there. Right? Because of the proportion of the resistors, that would be minus 1 volts there. Here we have an inverter. So that would be 1 volts there. And that's what we have in the table. The V outs. This here is a, a buffer amplifier. Okay, we have, you use a power up amp for this one, so there's enough current to drive the motor at the end. If you imagine counting down like that, the output would be stepping up in seven steps. Okay. The speed of the motor would be increasing. Possibly with one and two volts going into the motor, it would, there wouldn't be enough torque to start the motor. Some days it might start, some days it might not. It might be a bit jerky at the start. That's one disadvantage of using digital to analog circuit. The other disadvantage is you've got to use a summing amplifier, which takes up quite a bit of space. The, uh, you're also using three outputs from your microcontroller. If you're using pulse width modulation, you'll only be using one output your microcontroller. So once again, digital to analog to control the speed of the motor. Summing amplifier, that's the most significant bit. As you step up, the resistance doubles. If there's four bits, the next one would be 10k in this pattern. 